All right, fellas, what's going on? Dananu here, the man with the biggest and the most blackest privilege on YouTube. And I was sitting here playing some Destiny 2. Um, I was trying to get better armor and stuff for my Titan. And I was thinking about what kind of videos I can make with this kind of sort of stuff. And um, I'm not a lore channel. It seems like most of the big Destiny channels or... Uh, a lot of them out there are just focused around the lore or uh, <laughs> doing what most uh, modern YouTubers do nowadays where they have like uh, pack openings, that kind of sort of thing. That's never been my thing, YouTube, uh, to be honest. So um, what I'm going to probably do is something a little bit different with this game. Because besides just typical multiplayer match stuff I can record for commentaries, because my plan was to do the campaign, do the strikes, do the multiplayer stuff. And maybe if I can get a team together to do the raid, you know, and, and just basically record all of that stuff, right? But I figured while I'm doing all that, Destiny 2 has these adventures. And they're pretty much like missions on each planet and everything. And I was like, well, I'm playing these anyway to get gear. Why am I not recording these? <laughs> so what I'm going to probably do uh, is I think that you can actually redo them. Uh, I'm not sure on that. I was gonna just make another, make a new character and go, but I think that you can actually redo them. Uh, I think you gotta complete all the missions because what I'm, what I'm reading online is, is if you complete all the missions in a, on a certain planet, you can go to a vendor or an NPC and actually get all of that stuff kind of like refreshed on your map, so you can you know keep doing it if that's what you want to do. So we're gonna see if that's the case. I know when it comes to the adventure stuff, I didn't really do any of them. I just kind of ran through the campaign and just started doing the public events and things like that. Uh, but I was doing them on one particular planet because I really liked the gear on that planet. And uh, that's what made me think of this. I was like, well, why not just record it, you know, since I'm doing it anyway. So that's what we're going to be doing in here today. I got uh, two characters, really. Uh, this is the character that I'm that I, uh, recording with uh, Jolly for our campaign playthrough of that. And this was the character that uh, I made, you know, to do all my other stuff on, you know, things like that. Had to make her like a sexy Awoken chick. But as you can see, we're decked out with the armor that we want. And um, I colored it the way I want to. So we're going to hop on this character here. And uh, plus I can show you all the exotics and stuff that I got and all that kind of sort of stuff. One thing I really do like about Destiny 2 uh, over Destiny 1 is they gave you the ability to upgrade uh, your inventory. Meaning, let's say, let's say, like, I really like these shoulder pieces. In Destiny 1, uh, the light level was kind of tacked on to, you know, whatever item it was on. So in order to get the higher level stuff, you had to equip, let's say, like an exotic uh, shoulder piece. Uh, you can upgrade your guns to increase their light level in Destiny 1, but you couldn't really do armor. You know, that was kind of something that's preset. In Destiny 2, they basically gave you that ability with weapons and armor and the reason why i like that is because like i really like these shoulder pieces and the helmet and stuff that i got right so it's like well if you like that one piece of gear you can just constantly upgrade it yeah it may take a little bit of farming to get the materials in order to do it but you can just keep that item on you're not you know you don't have to switch from that armor every time you want to increase your light level you know what i'm saying like i've had these uh shoulders and this helmet for a while and every time i get a better helmet uh, I'll break down the materials and actually upgrade it so it increases the light level and things like that. I've been doing that with most of the armor and stuff that I've gotten and most of the guns. Like, I really like this assault rifle here. Uh, something I picked up by doing one of the strikes and got that. Really liking Cold Heart here. This is like my, you know, second weapon of choice <laughs> when it comes to a lot of stuff. I have a bunch more exotics in my inventory and in my, uh, in my vault space, but uh, this is the setup that I usually roll with. I just... Switch this rocket launcher out for this uh, this sword here. So I'm testing this out. Um, I really like this sniper rifle here because you can switch between the different uh, uh, elemental modes and things like that. But by me using Cold Heart, it's like I, I don't see a particular use for this unless maybe during a raid, you know, or taking out bosses, it can be you know useful in that situation. I don't know. Um, nobody I know really plays the game like that, so I don't really have, you know, I, I play solo most of the time. I don't play with a team, so. Uh, okay. Let's open up the director here. 
And like I said, I've been doing most of the planets on IO because I'm trying to get all of the gear and stuff on there. But there's a few adventures we can do here. And uh, if we go back to any other planet, I really didn't do none of them. Uh, since you have a lot of world stuff here, you have the adventures, which are these orange icons. And then you also have these uh, hidden cache type areas. That's what these little umbrella looking symbols on the map is. And I actually don't know what this other symbol is, but we'll figure things out. But I figure, you know, why not record all of, you know, all of that stuff too. So, uh, let's go back to Earth. And we're going to start it at Mission 1. So, first things first, let's travel back here. And we're just going to run through it, YouTube. I do like all the different aesthetic choices that they made with the game. Like you have uh, the transmat effects you have whenever you spawn in. You'll see I spawn in with like a little pink aura. Um, I think I had one that was uh, uh, like a little bunny icon on one ship. <laughs> um, I like how you have weapon mods now with where you can put different stuff on there. Um, I wish they made it so you can put stuff on and take stuff off. But it seems like maybe they want you to buy those stupid light anger packs or whatever. Because uh, when it comes to consumables like colors and stuff like that, once you equip them, you can't take them off. When, you know, you can equip something else on it, but then you take away what you have. So, all right, what we got? Okay, you're inside the bus. Frame job. Recommended power 40. Okay, well, we're gonna run through these then. Ah, thanks for checking in, you two. We've had our fill of Red Legion patrols and fallen raids. We could use a spot of help with both. See if you can track down a fallen comms terminal. Dev's got an idea that's crazy enough to work. Ah, uh, it's difficult for the young to recognize the wisdom of experience. All right. All right, let's see if we can find that con terminal. And uh, if we come across anything interesting along the way, we can always, you know, do that too, so. Wait, is that a collectible thingy? Yeah. Still have no idea what these are for, but I've been collecting them all the same. I like how they changed up the, uh, the materials system. That was one problem I had with Destiny 1. It's like every time, you know, they came out with DLC or something, they would change the material system and how you upgrade your weapons and everything. And that kind of made all your previous gatherings or farming useless. Like uh, in Destiny 1, I could farm all the materials on Earth for like hours, right? And have a whole bunch of them. And then, you know, once the DLC came out, all those items, you know, were just basically useless because now weapons and the stuff they upgraded with uh, whatever the newer item was that, that you... you that you got from like the DLC area, so it's like, uh, hated that bullshit. Excellent. What say you use your access to prepare a broadcast in Fallen Speak? I've been meaning to put this Cabal communication cipher to use. The Red Legion fighting the Fallen for a change. Great idea. I can extract archived audio transmissions from any Fallen in the area. All right, so fragments collected. Okay. Record Fallen Vocal Fragments. Alright, so we just gotta kill Fallen. That we can do, but first... Let's see what troubles we can get into. Ooh. Got a little war going on down there. Hold on. Oh, get back here, guy. No, you want to get killed by right, Let's collect all of these. Where'd big boy go? I've got enough for a pretty convincing fallen impression. Don't mention accents around Dev unless you want a day long lecture about city dialects. Meantime, best sight line to Red Legion air support is the cliffside where you and I set up that refugee beacon. 
no one appreciates the finer things anymore. <laughs> Alright, did they kill the big guy? I don't see no cabal when in the yellow health. Yeah, they must have killed him. Oh, well. I was hoping I was going to kill him and at least get some from it, but not going to worry about it. Find an ambush site. No. Come on. <laughs> there we go. You can't stop me from getting my speeder in here. Alright, where are we going? I can't believe we have to go back into the mines again. Chin up, you two. Good news. You'll be able to use a fallen teleporter to reach the top. Bad news, they've wired the place to explode. So. Hmm, let me stay away from that guy. <laughs> ah, too far away. All right. I'll take that. It's killing me earlier. If I run a deep scan of the tunnels, we can borrow all these traps and explosives. And put them to good use, sowing chaos between your enemies. A lovely idea. Okay, what we gotta do is scan the explosives up there. Thought we had to, like, clear out the enemies or something like that. Alright. Big guy down there. Who is behind me? I need my retreat! Let's see if we can stay up here and actually pick them off. All right, now that I got my uh, my super up, my ability should charge a whole lot quicker too. Love this exotic chest piece for that. got to do next now I can transmit these horribly dangerous explosives wherever we need all right prepare the ambush ah <laughs> they embarrassed me oh man Me look bad on YouTube. Right, who was behind me trying to punch me? Oh, thought I heard somebody behind me. Oh, there you go. Here for a second. Come on, health. Come on, health. There we go. Got to go all the way up here? Nope. Right there. Great work. Broadcasting the message now. I decided to go with a House of Devils accent. Remember them? Oh boy. Ah, House yeah. of Devils, eh? You know the most interesting ah. thing about that pronunciation? Ah, that's messing up my own trap. Actually, Devrim, let's keep the channel clear. You know, too well. Make sure there's no interference during the transmit. A lot of big red ships headed your way. Whatever you said, it got their attention. I told them that Gaul ran away and cried when we retook the city. A big, ugly cry. Ah, uh, I do so love unconventional warfare. I'd be on the lookout for drop pods if I were you. <laughs> Boom. Come on, walk through it, walk through it. 
it's all fine. Sure, ruin my plans. Right into my fist, bruh. Can't do that. Burns with the power of the sun. Alright, so I'm guessing we got more on this side. Yep, here they come. Yep, alright, let me just back up, let them run into them. We can clean up who's left. Fire deal with you. All right. Any more? Oh, okay. So they're just gonna respawn. Okay, that's even better. That's what's up. Ooh. Mm, damn, you didn't make it, bro. I guess it's more gonna pop up there. I could hear the explosions all the way back here. I guess that's it. I bet it was quite a show. Which means the fallen and red legion heard it too. We'll let them shoot at each other for a while and clean up whatever's left. Great work. Sweet. Alright, fellas. I'm guessing these are gonna be short videos because the missions aren't that long, but um we're gonna end this one here and uh, pick things back up in the next one, and uh, we're going to continue to do these adventures. So, my name is Dananu, the man with the biggest and the most blackest privilege on YouTube, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.